Now go down to the lower left-hand corner of the data processing, of, of the data analysis software where it says reporting. Click on that reporting tab. Now once that reporting tab is open, on most of your systems, at least I hope most of your systems, you should see a series of report templates that have been filled in here on the lower left-hand um, panel. So on the panel on the left-hand side, we've got reporting. Immediately below that, it says injection. Then it has chem to open lab two data and all of our injections that have been opened up. Immediately below that, it says a report template section, but there are no report templates. Now I'm going to venture a guess that at least one, if not more, of your projects probably have the same thing. When you open up the reporting, there are no templates there. And that's because of, again, a similar type of use case as with the example custom calculation files. Each one of these report templates can be unique per project. So if you create a project, you have to make sure you import those report templates in order for you to be able to use them. Or for those of you that were with me two weeks ago in the uh, control panel seminar, you know that you could also, in a project, redirect a project to go to another location to look for the report templates, because those are the one thing that you can share across multiple projects, but not anything else, nothing about methods, results, sequence templates, et cetera. So what happens if you your system appears just like mine or just like yours on our virtual images? There's nothing in those report templates. Where can I get them? Well, it's very easy with the report templates. Go to the data selection tab on the lower left-hand corner, data selection tab. In the upper portion above the black ribbon, you currently should see the home tab is the one that's highlighted. It's the one that is uh, dark black. Go to the import export tab immediately to the right of that one and click on that. And then below that, you should see an icon that says Import Default Templates. Select that Import Default Templates. And a new dialog box pops up in the middle of the screen. Now, you can go ahead and import all of those templates, both, both A4 and letter. Because I am in the US, I rather not put all of those A4 types of uh, templates in my system. Is there a problem using the A4? It's not really a problem, but if you inadvertently, let's say, change a template that is set to A4, and you try to print it out on a US printer, it will never print out because it's looking for A4 paper. And since you don't have A4 paper, it's not going to print. Um, so instead, I typically like to deselect the A4 and keep just the letter selected, and then click OK. That is going to copy all of the example templates that Agilent has given you out of the box and put it into the project that you currently have open, which in this example is our OpenLab CDS 2.5 project. Now you'll see it, the bubbles chasing each other, and as they're chasing each other, they are copying those templates into the appropriate place within the project. Once it's complete, you'll get another window up that says the import report templates complete. Import of default report templates into current project has finished. 33 templates have been imported. Simply select OK. And then go back down to the reporting tab on the lower left-hand corner. And you should see when you open that up, all the reports that are available in the report template section on that left-hand panel, on the lower left-hand panel. 